Heavenly Father, thank you for this time with thy word. Again, sharing it with folks that care. Lord, bless us today. Thank you for the subject. In Jesus' name, amen. Our subject this morning that we've traced scriptures through, the promise of prosperity to the born again ones. We all want to prosper. Uh, we try to get ahead all the time, get a bank account, all right, get secure. But the best way is God's way. So jot down these scriptures on a card, put them in your pocket, and read them over and over again till you get them inside of you real good. You know, if you think about these things, the Lord says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So if you get these verses in your heart and meditate, think, on them daily. You'd be surprised what can happen in your life. My promises of prosperity to the born again ones. Joshua 1, 8 and 9. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Now, you ought to get that down and heat it and do it, and, and then claim the promises, prosperity and success. Verse 9, have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Oh, what a precious, precious passage that is in the book of Joshua. Isaiah 48, 15 and 17. I, even I, have spoken. Yea, I have called him. I have brought him. And he shall make his way prosperous. Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord thy God, which teacheth thee to profit. To profit. God's in control. You let him have his way, and he'll profit you. Which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go. Oh, that thou hadst hearkened to my commandments. Then had thy peace been as a river and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. Deuteronomy 8, 17 and 19. And thou say in thine heart, my power and the might of my hand had gotten me this wealth. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get well. Remember that. God's got to direct your life and you've got to follow that direction. And he'll give you well. That he may establish his covenant, which he swore unto thy fathers, as it is this day. And it shall be, if thou do it, if thou do at all, Forget the Lord thy God and walk after other gods and serve them, worship them. I testify against you this day that ye shall surely perish. Better heed it. Psalms 118, 23. 
This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes what God can do with our lives if we just follow him. Prosperity. Proverbs 3, 5 to 10. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord. Depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance, with the first fruits of all thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and their presses shall burst out with new wine. You can't even imagine what all the Lord will do to prosper you. You want a prosperous life? Obey God. And the only way you can obey God is to find out what God wants, think about it, and then do it. 2 Timothy 3.16 All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. First Chronicles 22, 13. Then shall ye prosper if thou take, takest heed to fulfill the statutes and judgments with the Lord charged Moses with concerning Israel. Be strong and of good courage. Dread not, nor be dismayed. 2 Corinthians 1.20 For all the promises of God in him are yea and in him amen unto the glory of God. It's another. God honors every one of his promises. You get God's word in reality, and you can count on it. You can count on it. First Kings 2, 2 to 3. Now the days of David, Na the days of David drew nigh that he should die. And he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Be strong, therefore, and show thyself a man, and keep the charge of the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes, his commandments, his judgments, his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest. That thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest. And whithersoever thou turnest thyself. That the Lord may continue his word, which he spake concerning me, saying, If thy children take heed to their way, to walk before me in truth with all their heart, with all their soul, there shall not fail thee, said he, a man on the throne of Israel. Boy, what a promise. First Timothy 4, 11 to 16. These things command and teach let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, 
in spirit, in faith, in purity, till I come. Give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. In other words, think about what you're reading. Sit down and think about it. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. Another promise of prosperity, that thy profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. Job 36, 10 and 14. He openeth also their ear to discipline and commandeth that they return from iniquity. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. But if they obey not, They shall perish by the sword. They shall die without knowledge. But the hypocrites in heart heap up wrath. They cry not when he bindeth them. They die in youth, and their life is among the unclean. It pays to get the word of God in your mind, in your heart, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And if you obey the word of God, after you have thought about it, meditated upon it, to do it, prosperity. Psalms 33, 4 to 9. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. That's verse 4. Now verse 9 of 33. For he spake, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. Psalms 33 again. He spake, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. Fast. All his works are done in truth, verse 4. Psalms 96, 4. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 27, 4 to 6 and 8 to 12. 4 to 6, blessed shall be the fruit of of thy body and the fruit of thy ground, the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. You can't get much better than that. The Lord shall command the blessings upon thee in their storehouses, in thy storehouses, and in all that thou settest thy hand unto. Verses 4 to 8 in the book of Deuteronomy. Now 8 to 12. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, 
and the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the fruit of thy ground, and the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven he to give the rain unto his land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. Isaiah 55, 8 to 12. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are highest than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. That's the reason you need to take a subject and go from Genesis to Revelation to find out exactly what God means when he says what he says. God says again, in verse 10, Isaiah 55, Whereas the rain cometh down, and snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. Verse 11 of Isaiah 55. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereof I send it. When you take a verse of scripture that promise you prosperity, that you're going to prosper, you think about it, you obey it, you ask God for it, it'll happen. It'll happen. Verse 12. For he shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace the mountains and the hills shall break forth before you in the singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. God is good. God is great. God is wonderful. Isaiah 55, 8 to 12. That's a passage that would be very profitable to write it down on a card, carry it in your pocket, and go over it, and believe it, and claim it, obey it, and then experience the prosperity that God will give you. Promises. Psalms 1, one to four. Blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, and his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. You want prosperity? Here's a way to it. Verse 4 says, The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. God gives you an opportunity. If you're not too stubborn, hard-hearted to believe it for prosperity. 
I've given you a number of them here by the scriptures I've quoted to you. Here's some more. 1 Kings 2, 1 to 3. Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die. And he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest, and so, whithersoever thou turnest thyself. Think of that. Genesis 39, 1-6. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt, and Potiphar an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down thither. And the Lord was with Joseph. He was a prosperous man. He was a in the house of his master, the Egyptian. Now he's a slave. Sold into slavery, but he's a prosperous man. How can that be? God honors his promises. God honors his word. And though his brothers hated him, Joseph responded in the right way. Study God's word that you may do God's word and experience the prosperity that God will bring to you. Joseph went through a couple of three or four bad situations, kept the right attitude like God tells him to do. Don't render evil for evil. Don't murmur against me. Don't say, hey, I wonder where God is. God's let me down. No. God is, God's ways are high above our ways. Keep your trust in God all the time. 1 Kings 2. We read 1, 2, and 3. We're going 4. That the Lord may continue his word, which he spake concerning me, saying, if thy children take heed to their way, to walk before me in truth with all their heart, with all their soul, there shall not fail thee, said he, a man on the throne of Israel. Moreover, thou knowest also that Joab, the son of Zerulam, did to me what he did to the two captains of the host of Israel, unto Abner, the son of Ner, and unto Amasa, the son of Jethro, whom he slew and shed the blood of war in place and put the blood of war upon his girdle that was about his loins. Take care of him. 1 Kings 2, 10 as well. So David slept with his fathers, was buried in the city of David, and the days that David reigned over Israel were 40 years. Seven years reigned he in Hebron, and 30 and 33 years reigned he in Jerusalem. Then sat Solomon upon the throne of David his father, and his kingdom was established greatly. These scriptures on prosperity to the born again ones are precious promises. You need to 
Get them down. Think about them. The promises of prosperity to the born again children of God. And my wife and I can give you hundreds of testimonies of what a blessing came when God unzipped the windows of heaven and poured out a blessing to us because we delighted ourselves in the word of God, in the word of God, in the word of God. Delight thyself in the word, and I'll give you the desires of your heart. Father, thank you, thank you for all of your blessings on us. Mamie and I, we love you, Lord. We love you. Not as much as I want to, but someday I'll love you as you ought to be loved. In Jesus' name. Amen.